Mm, damn, Q. Maybe you did that. Another episode of Beers, Bourbon, Whiskey, man. Everybody loves BBW. Back in the building for another episode, man. Got my man's angry principal off camera, of course. What's up? Got my man Bo in the building. I'll say. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. We in the stain, dog. Today, uh, we taking it back to something kind of old school for me, or actually myself and uh, angry principal. Uh, Bo said he had some as well. I remember being out in D.C. probably about, uh, I don't know, six, six, seven years ago. And uh, we found this thing called a uh, filibuster. All right, that's what it is now. And, uh, of course, the, the name is funny just because it's, it's, it's just a funny name. But <laughs> we were in D.C. and obviously filibuster is a, is a government term. So that's what kind of made it near and dear to our heart there. I remember tasting it, but I don't remember what it tastes like. So, uh, Angry Principal, do you remember it all? Like, Absolutely. What is... And then okay. <laughs> when they started, because at first you couldn't get it in Michigan. Okay. So then when they started selling, I happened to catch it at the store. So I bought a, I bought three or four bottles since gotcha. then in the last three or four years. Okay. And so uh, not much has changed with the taste. Okay. So I have never had this version of it. So right, because it looks like it's about six or seven yeah, expressions. They got a lot of different expressions, but this one I've never had, so I'm looking forward to it. Okay. And Bo, you said you might have had this too. Do you yeah, I'm pretty sure I've had this before. Okay. Uh, it's, it's been a while, though. Yeah. But yeah. All right, so I'm kind of excited to see what it's going to be like. Uh, I do believe we mentioned that it is uh, yep, it is distilled in Moortown, uh, Virginia. So obviously, you know, uh, Virginia and D.C. is all in the same area. Uh, so we go check it out and see what it was to it. Uh, it is uh, 90 proof, uh, so it's on the uh, the lower end of proof. It's three to four years old. Okay. Uh, so it's saying try to find some cherry caramel and light vanilla in it. Okay. Classic notes. Gotcha. You know, so okay. we'll, see, we'll see what happens with this. Right. So this is a small batch. It says handcrafted. And uh, the boondoggler, that's a <laughs> funny-ass word. I'm not even sure what that means. But we go uh, pop this cork and see what the cork sounds like. And while you're doing that, I might light this stogie. All right, pause for the court. <laughs> Baby. I, I know it's... <laughs> it's open up. Huh? It's open. <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it's not open. open. It's okay. not, not complete. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, I thought so was wrong with me. <laughs> right. You need something to cut it. So, I'm, hey, about we to, like, I'm about to start <laughs> serving up some push ups around here. Right. <laughs> like, I know. They can't pull the cork. All right. Okay. That was decent. Right. Okay. That was decent. For the work I just put in, it better be. <laughs> it felt like it might have shot out of there a little bit. Pause. <laughs> I'm about to say. <laughs> pause. <laughs> we grown men. We don't play pause no more. Shit. <laughs> Ain't that what James said? Uh -huh. He told him? Yeah. I'm going well. Shit. Is that a. Uh, okay, that's an actual cork. So let's see that. Okay, it smells. Uh, and maybe because you mentioned the cherry, I can't. I think I kind of smell it a little bit. Yeah, that hit me immediately. Yeah. And I don't know if it's because you said it or if I actually smell it. No, nah, it's just there. So that's I mean, crazy. You know, like how sometimes you hear a song mm -hmm. and like that shit make you remember what you was doing at the time? That's what just happened. That's what just happened, dude. Like, I smelled, I was like, man, so tell okay, us, yeah. Tell us the story. <laughs> <laughs> it brought you back to that time, yeah? Uh-oh. Was it All right, that's, that's off camera. That's, yeah, <laughs> that's off camera. Right. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember this shit, yeah. <laughs> wait, I can't wait to hear this story. This man, that caramel and vanilla is Ooh, straight in. And vanilla it hits you, don't Yeah, caramel too. It's a good mix. It's a good mix, though. And the, and the bite... The bite is stronger than I thought it would be for 90 proof. Like, not over the top, but, like, it, it bit me a little harder than I thought 90 would. It's more flavorful than I thought it was going to be. A lot more flavors jumping off of this. Ooh. I get, like, that aftertaste of the, uh, like, the finishes. Like, I get 
that cherry. I get cherry. some mild cherry on the finish. Yeah. yeah. And this this is probably a weird uh, <laughs> analogy, but it kind of tastes like you know the aftertaste that uh, diet pop give you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like that from the Nutrisweet. Sweet. Yeah, from the Nutrisweet. Yeah, yeah, for real. Like yeah. seriously, a little more peppery yep, I than I thought. Yeah. You know, especially kinda, on the finish. Yeah, kind of peppery for it, almost like a rye. Almost. It's a nice ass glass, by the way. Knob Creek. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It came in a gift set. <laughs> <laughs> nice glass. I do. Yeah, I remember this though, man. It's like uh. I remember like enjoying it, mm. but like I wish it. It's got a decent bite for ninety proof. Yeah, for but, 90. I, but but I wish it had just you know just obviously yeah. a little bit more. You know what I mean? I got you. I um, was a fan of it though. I, I mean, it's not bad. I ain't gonna lie. I think that uh, for when I, when I first seen it, that it was ninety proof, I kind of thought that it would be a little a little less bite, a little less peppery. I guess. But it's I think long. That, <laughs> it's long. Yeah, it's long I still finish. I still yeah it's I still long. got it. Yeah. yeah. It's still, on that on that back side of the palate, yeah, I definitely still feel it. So surprising for a, a ninety proof, honestly. Uh, for taste wise, though, I think the the cherry, even though it's uh, I I won't say it's overpowering on the smell, but it, it does it smells stronger in cherry than it actually tastes. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's kind of mild on the taste. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's mild mellow. on the taste, yeah. but the smell is like goddamn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's about to taste like cherry Pepsi or cherry syrup. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, it does the, the cigar. It doesn't Nothing. enhance. It doesn't mm -hmm. take away. It doesn't uh -huh. enhance it at all. So it's a and that might be because of the proof. That. Okay. Is is there a correlation? I guess that's a question. I've These been trees to don't do much for it either. Like, <laughs> <laughs> These right. trees are you know they work by themselves. Right, know? they work by themselves. Yeah. Now I did want to ask y'all that. Is there a is there any correlation between the uh, the proof of a whiskey and a bourbon and matching it with the cigar? Like, I think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Um, for, for, for me though, it's like I gotta have you know I, I like them them deep rich <laughs> pause <laughs> <laughs> them deep rich sticks <laughs> hella pause rewind pull that shit in the trash <laughs> get that shit out of there right uh, just hey, about that. <laughs> the Maduro like right. you know, like Maduro okay. rapper yeah you know. I gotta, I gotta smoke something like that. Where you just, if, if I'm smoking, I mean, if I'm drinking something that's kind of light like this, yeah. I gotta have a Maduro, you know, something heavy like that. You know what yeah. I mean? Ooh. I got you. Y'all yeah. can I always wonder that. Like, it was in a correlation between the two. I just like Maduro, so yeah. So this is what you, there you go. What yeah. you like? Yeah. This is what I like. So mm -hmm. uh, I think the higher proofs, they both kind of enhance each other mm -hmm. every time. Okay. But on this, unfortunately. And it doesn't take away, it doesn't give anything. Right, yeah. it's, just, it's, just, it's just there. They just yeah. complement each other. Got you. It's not not anything that's for it or against it. It's okay. Just, yeah, it's just, okay. It's a, but I like this. I like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I do think that, uh, and, and I don't say this often, but I think that because it is kind of mellow, I think I'm all right with putting a couple of cubes of ice in it. Only because like I don't think that is, I don't think that the, uh, what's the word? I don't think it's complex enough to drink by itself. Like the, the stuff I drink by itself, I like to, I like the complexity of it. Like the shit that's kind of mellow like this, I can throw some ice in it and it'll be cool. So I don't want to mix it with anything. So if you did drop a couple drops of water in it, mm -hmm. it'll probably change the taste on it completely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kind of open it up. For sure. You know, see for me. Well, how much was it? Uh, the filibuster. What was it? Uh, I think it was 49. Okay. That sounded about right, man. Uh, yeah. 49. I was going to guess, right. guess 34. Seven forty-five ish, something like that. You know, I can't so. remember now. I'm yeah, okay. yeah, I think it's it was about right. It's about yeah. yeah. It's, it's over forty-five. Yeah, so I think so it's forty-nine. For forty-five dollars, mm -hmm. you spending forty-five dollars on filibuster, yeah. or you getting something else that's ninety proof or ninety-two, ninety-three? I'm getting for, something else, honestly. For a cheaper I mean, price. If, we, if we looking at comparison, yeah, even for a, a cheaper price, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's probably not a, uh, it's probably not a popular opinion, but I would probably. Over this, at that around that ninety proof, I would probably do a. Uh, what about yeah? I would probably do fourteen ninety two. I would do that for because that's about ninety two in there somewhere. Are you seventeen ninety two? I mean seventeen. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, seventeen ninety two. Uh, I would probably do that. Obviously, I know they got the they got a higher proof one too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that not not talking about that one. I'm talking about the lower proof right. one. Uh, I would in, in place of that, I probably would because it's a little bit less expensive. So that one's probably a little closer to forty. Uh, I probably would do that instead. It's not bad though. No, you know what I'm saying? Not, not, not bad at all. Um, it's we, we gonna go around the block. We gonna give uh, our ratings in a minute. 
But I did just want to say that I, I do think it was surprising at 90 for me. Like, it's not obviously, it's not a, a super bite, but it's, it's a bigger bite than I thought would be at 90 proof, though. All right. So, this is what we go do, man. We go uh, take a small pause for the cause, go drop to a commercial break. And when we get back, we're going to do the review. We're going to give our one to five Black Power Fist review. And uh, we'll be back. You already know what it is, man. Everybody loves BBW, beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Be back in a second. Thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out through the uh, commercial. You already know what it is. Everybody loves BBW. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Of course, I got my man, Angry Principal, off camera. What's up? Got my man, Bo, in the building. I say. And, of course, man, it's your boy, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205, man. Getting back to it. We're getting ready to uh, hit it off with the rate. Uh, So, one to five, Black Power Fist, dog. Uh, Angry Principal, we'll start with you, dog. Uh, On the rating system from one to five, what do you want to get a filibuster? For just taste? Yeah. I'm going to give it three and a half, mm-hmm. but then the price kind of drops it down to me for me because okay. I'd rather have a Wolford, mm-hmm. uh, Four Roses, you others, spend the 50. that I'm going to spend 30 on. 30, okay, I got you. Instead of spending 49. Got you. <coughs> 45 to 49, so. People sleep taste on Four Roses. Yeah. <laughs> taste, taste wise, I like this. Uh-huh. It is good. When they, Even in the description, they say it's a good base for a mixed cocktail. Got gotcha. you. I'm not necessarily spending fifty dollars to, to mix, mix uh-huh. anything. Not so that's all. not what I'm doing. <laughs> right. Right. Some people may want to do that, mm-hmm. but that's not what I'm doing. So uh, for the price point, that's what drops it down to three for me. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Uh, only because of the price point. Taste wise, three and a half. Price okay. point drops it down to three. So I'm gonna right. stick with three. Stick with three. Okay. But what you say, bro? I'm gonna give it a solid three. You know, yeah. it's off the rip. Um, so for me, like I don't really fuck with a lot of, you know, low proof bourbons and whatnot. But like this is one that. I would revisit from time to time, you know, and not something that I would drink every day or something like that, or, you know, whenever I'm drinking, I should say. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, some, some, something about uh, the, the filibuster that, that, that I remember that, you know, that, 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 that just, like, I really liked about it. Mm-hmm. And so, I wouldn't want to pay 50 for it, but, like, every, right. every once in a while, yeah. yeah, I might drop it just to, just to enjoy it, you know, yeah. just kind of by itself. But, like, this is... Sure. The one thing though is this is probably the only 90, 90 proof bourbon that I would drink by itself like that. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Okay. So you wouldn't you wouldn't want to mix it either. No, no. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and I think mostly that's gonna be because of the price point. Like I just don't want to pay fifty for something I gotta turn into old fashioned. But then they have the higher proof one at like one oh seven. Okay. For the same price. Really? It's forty five to forty nine dollars. Yeah. So So I'm, why why do the ninety? Yeah, that, I got that's you. Why, yeah. That's why I dropped it down to three. <clears> I got you. You got higher Proof ones. That's weird. I for almost the same price. Right. It's not that big of a difference between the prices. So. Okay. Yeah, because I saw they had a ride mm-hmm. too, but I know we had a ride uh, last week, and I, I didn't want no more ride. <laughs> <laughs> and you said, I, love, I know y'all like ride. And you said people be sleeping on Four Roses. They do. That sing, that, sing, that single barrel, one of my favorite bottles. No, yeah, it yeah. is. That's one of my it's favorite nice. bottles. And, and relatively inexpensive in comparison mm-hmm. to like some other things. Yeah. So all right. So you say three. Both basically we had a three for mm-hmm. both you guys. I'm on, I'm on the same note with that. I'm going to go ahead and give it a three as well. Uh, for the taste-wise, honestly, uh, don't let the don't let the nose scare you away because it is it is really cherry uh, on the nose, but it's not the the taste isn't that personified. All right, so like it's not going to taste like a cherry coke. Like I thought it was going to taste like a doctor. Uh, uh, what is it, a diet Dr Pepper? And shit? It, it don't taste like that. So um, I definitely wouldn't mix it with anything. I probably would throw a cube of ice in there just to. Uh, you know, take it down just a little bit because I feel like at 90, I'm kind of, I'm drinking a little faster at 90. <laughs> so I, I want to, I want the, I want the drink to relate to that. So I'm going to put a little ice in there and, uh, I was going to say take it down fast. You know what? <laughs> Pause. Let's just, uh, let's just look at this whole thing. I'm going to give it a three. Insert joke here. <laughs> right. Insert joke here for real. All right. So yeah, I think it's a consistent <laughs> across the board. <laughs> The filibuster uh, is a good way to go, um, especially for someone who isn't searching for uh, a really high proof. Uh, it's going to give you a, a bit of a bite, so it's going to be a little bit more than what you would expect from a 90 proof. But then that could be good uh, for someone who's beginning out uh, and switching over into uh, you know bourbons and whiskey. So across the board, we're giving it a three. So I think it's definitely something to do. Uh, again, 
uh, our palettes are completely different, so it's up to you. But this is one of the shot. longest finishes I've ever had. It's a, it's a very yeah, long, it's especially a very for long a ninety proof. Mm -hmm. Ninety proof, this yeah. is a long because mm -hmm. like it's literally still lingering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. So on that note, definitely, uh, we're gonna go ahead and give it a three, and we're gonna go ahead and drink some more. So I want to thank everyone <laughs> for checking us out again for another week of beers, bourbon, whiskey. Everybody loves BBW. You already knew that though. Off camera, I got my man, Angry Principal. Drink what you like, how you like. Got my man Bo holding it down. I'll say, Ross, I ain't forgot. <laughs> we still owe Bo. I ain't forgot, ass. bro. <laughs> and of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live for the 48205, man. Peace out, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>